Um, so, uh, Fish Keeper Jamaica asked me what gives me more joy, pots, tanks, or tubs? And for me, that answer is really easy because my favorite and most enjoyable thing in my entire fish room is my pond. But my pond is not outside. My pond is inside. And it has a lid and it runs in 100% humidity. So in my pond, I can grow all different kinds of plants out of the water and in the water. So my most enjoyment is from my pond. Um, second to that is tanks. I love my fish tanks. I love being able to see my fish. That's the only thing I wish was different about this is that I could actually see the rope fish. Um, for those of you that don't know, I keep rope fish. I'm trying to breed them. This is my current setup. I'm working on a second one of these for another big import of rope fish. So let's take a look, shall we? Okay, so this is my indoor rope fish breeding pond. That's the lid. This is how much humidity is running in here. It's about 100%. It rains. Um, that down there is a red tiger lotus. That is a rope fish swimming around. Um, this is a giant jungle of water wisteria, and this is Brazilian pennywort that's growing around it. We've also got Rotella rotundifolia that grows around it, outside of the water, and that is a big mat of pearl weed that's growing out of it. And then you've got Anubis congensis, and Anubis, uh, I believe, green weef wavy, wavy that's growing around it. Um, so that's what I got going on there. I got a little vase next to it that I've been working on. Now, the reason I'm able to grow all these plants is because of the humidity in here. So this is water wisteria when it grows out of the water, but in 100% humidity. So it's basically just keeping its underwater form exactly the same above water. Now this is water wisteria out of water, not in 100% humidity. It looks like a total different plant. I grew that outside in one of my tubs this year. So yeah, totally different plant, but exactly the same plant as that. So that's why I get the most enjoyment out of this pond because I can do experiments on what's going on and this pennywort looks amazing. And hopefully I've got it natural enough that I can get those rope fish to breed. Biggest problem with this is the glare so it's hard to film. And also I like to leave the lid down to keep the humidity up because I don't want all these plants that are used to 100% humidity to be exposed to the humidity in here, which is only, you know, like normal household humidity, 50%, something like that, and dry out. So gotta keep the lid closed, but that is where I get the most enjoyment in my fish keeping hobby. It's from rope fish and specifically from this pond. So, hope you enjoyed the tour of my pond and where I get the enjoyment in my hobby. The enjoyment that I really get in my hobby is from breeding fish. Um, I don't really wanna just be a fish keeper. I feel like just collecting fish for no reason has no reason. So any fish that I get generally, I my intention is to either breed them or they're not breeding quality and to live the, let them live out the rest of their life. Like. I have Wags, who is a um, Melanotania parva rainbow fish. He has no tail. So he's not a really good candidate for breeding because that may pass on. So he's not a breeding fish. He's just to live out his life with me and be awesome fish. His name's Wags. And I also have Bashirs. Um, the only reason they're not in a breeding program is because I haven't done enough research to start breeding them yet. But I have the Bashirs so that I can study them to help me study the rope fish because they're kind of in the same family. So always studying, always learning something. That's the best part of the hobby is that I always learn something new and I like to keep indoor ponds. See you guys later. And as always, live your best life because if you're not living your best life, what are you doing? What? Live your best life. Forget what anybody else says. Do what you love to do and do it as much as you can. Live your best life.